It's been three months into their glorious ride around planet Earth. Astronaut Scott Kelly and Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko selected to spend a year in space on board the International Space Station. The test, seeing how far the human body can go in such an extreme environment. Hello, I'm Ty Hernandez in New York. And now joining us live from the ISS, astronaut Scott Kelly and cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko. Good morning to you both. Scott, you were both selected as flight engineers for this expedition. We're going to start with you, though. How has it been living and working in space for the past three months? What's the biggest challenge? Well, I, you know, the biggest challenge is, uh, you know, being in the same place for, for such a long period of time and having a pretty, uh, pretty heavy work schedule. But, you know, a lot of people do that. And, uh, you know, we get to work in this important program and, uh, you know, get to live in this uh, incredible environment with uh, microgravity and uh, the views of the Earth we have outside. So, uh, you know, it really is, is, is a privilege. Uh, I think we both feel privileged to be here and, and do this. Uh, the advantage with us is we had both been here before, so it's, uh, it's not new. And, uh, you know, it's something that, uh, that, w that we really enjoy and we look forward to continuing uh, throughout the, next, uh, the rest of the year and next year. And, Mikhail, what are your expectations for your one-year mission? First off, I expect that we will come up with actual help which would go towards future generation, new astronauts and cosmonauts who will fly to Mars and to the Moon, and that's what we're trying to accomplish here. We are trying to better understand the uh, specifics, the nuances and subtleties uh, which we have progressed tremendously in. And we, these days, can very thoroughly examine the reaction of human body to a lengthy space flight. And that's the focus of our flight. This is not the only thing we're trying to accomplish, but that's the main thing. Scott, Mikhail just mentioned you are performing a lot of research on the mission, but you are also a living, breathing experiment to see how astronauts might fare on a long trip to Mars, say. Uh, is it true they're going to compare you with your twin brother when you return to Earth to see how the mission has affected you physically? Well, uh, like you said, there's a lot of research that goes on on board here, about 400 different experiments um, in all different kinds of disciplines. Some of them are related to exploration, and that's the one-year uh, science that Misha and I are doing. You know, how does the body adapt for longer periods of time, and, and what do we need to do to protect it so we can go further uh, from our home planet someday? Um, and the research with my brother is is a small part of that somewhat related and that's kind of in the in the genetic realm of how does this environment affect us on a genetic scale so uh, they're collecting data from my brother and samples uh, s certain types of scans cat scans on different parts of his body uh, they'll do the same on me after the flight and we do get samples up here as well so uh, you know that twin study is uh, one small part of a much larger science program we have here on the International Space Station. Mikhail there are so many children who will be tomorrow's astronauts who become fascinated by what you do uh, by the small details so what can you tell us about daily life in a microgravity environment what is that like? Well, most of all, we're doing science. The station is a huge science lab. 
Работаем здесь. And we are working here for the benefit of the science. We start our day at 6 a.m. We wake up, uh, have some breakfast, and we run a daily planning conference. And after that, we start work and finish everything up by 6 p.m. And by all means, during the day, we're running physical exercises. This is almost a must. It's either a velo or treadmill or a red which turned out to be outstanding device which helps us out with a variety of different things that help us to stay fit we perform hygienic procedures and it's very similar to how we live uh, on the ground it's a wake up in the morning it's work it's meals and the only thing we're lacking is a swimming pool that we don't have this luxury up on the station uh, well, I hear it's like living in a swimming pool, so hopefully uh, well, you don't miss it too like much. Scott, I hear that you watched the movie Gravity while on the ISS. That actually, uh, I wonder if that's true. And also it made me think about what you do in your downtime. I mean, Mikhail just gave us a good sense of your daily schedule. But, I mean, did you bring your Kindle? What personally did you bring to make the, the downtime easier for you? Yeah, so we did watch the movie Gravity. We recently got a, a projector, uh, HD projector up here, uh, not only for entertainment, um, but also from some work-related things. We could do uh, uh, video conferences on it. We can run some software. That's important to planning for spacewalks, for instance. But, uh, you know, I read. We have an iPad with uh, some software on it. You can read books. You uh, uh, we have uh, videos and movies we can watch on our laptops and, and on the iPads or TV shows. We exercise. We have a phone. We can call people, call friends and family, uh, email. Uh, we actually have an uh, Internet connection, which is slow. It's kind of like dial-up, but it, is, uh, it does allow us to do some things. And, of course, you know, you look out the window a lot. The Earth is a very beautiful place, and uh, it's, uh, you know, we spend, spend time looking out the window and taking pictures. Well, I want to thank you both so much. Truly cool to speak to you guys while you're in the International Space Station. Scott Kelly, Mikhail Kornienko on board the ISS. Thank you so much for joining us. And you can, of course, keep up with the latest headlines right here on ABCnews.com. I'm Ty Hernandez in New York.